Hey guys, how's it going? We're at a new project this week. It's in Kissimmee. Um, it's a condo that we're doing. Um, we're basically going to be redoing the whole thing. Um, the owner's out of state. Uh, he's using it as a rental property. And he basically asked me to go ahead and repaint all the walls, repaint all the cabinets that you see behind me, and um, also the vanities that are in the bathroom to match with the cabinets. We're also redoing all the flooring. We're gonna have a new Berber carpet inside here and also some new tile. Um, some of these condos uh, get, you know, build a material and they stay with that for, you know, X amount of years. So a lot of this stuff is getting real brittle and old and you know, just gotta redo it. These cabinets have like a thermal foil on them. Uh, typically we don't paint over the thermal foil. We usually go ahead and peel all the thermal foil off and then go ahead and primer that out with uh, an oil-based product and then we'll go ahead and top coat it. So here you got the cabinets and then I'll go ahead and show you what I'm talking about with this thermal foil. Well, this one's not doing it, but okay, here's a perfect one right here. See this one down here and how it's coming apart? This stuff comes right off, okay? And the wood behind it is not, the wood behind it is not a um, very high quality wood, but um, it's more of like a particle board type material, but they bond it and glue it together and compress it so well that you're able to go ahead and put a primer coat on it and a top coat and it holds actually really well. I've done I've done maybe four or five of these already and um they've uh they've for probably two, three years ago. So um and they've held up well in the same community. So that's what we're gonna be doing with the cabinets. <laughs> show you guys is when you're doing these see these little corners like this they get all frayed out and stuff um, usually they get a little bit of water damage or something like that from it <clears throat> what I typically do is I kind of sand down these areas and um, I don't get too crazy with the sanding because like I said the stuff's it's it's particles you know and, and if you sand too much this stuff will literally like disintegrate um, so uh, you just gotta be careful with it. You know, sand it down lightly, just enough to get it to where it's a nice smoother surface. And then once you get that done, you put your um, oil-based product on there, which would be like a primer and a top coat. Um, I think for this project, we're gonna be using some other different products, um, trying some, some new things, um, just changing it up a little bit, seeing what, uh, you know, what may work better. Um, they got a lot of products out there that you can paint cabinets with. I always typically go with Pro Block Primer from Sherwin Williams, and then I also do a top coat with Pro Classic, which um, those are two great products. They work very well together. Um, I've had nothing but you know 100% satisfaction from everybody whenever I use those products on cabinets. Um, however, we're gonna go a water-based route, and um, once I get those products in hand, I'll go ahead and share that with you on what we're gonna be using on these cabinets. But that's pretty much it. Give it all light sand, put your primer on, put your top coat, and you're done. Catch you later.